Hello everybody and welcome to this microeconomics video on cross elasticity of demand. So firstly, what is cross elasticity of demand or XED as we sometimes refer to it as? Cross elasticity of demand is defined as being how responsive the demand of one good is to a change in the price of another good. So how much the demand of one good changes when the price of a different good changes. So we're comparing two different goods here, good X and good Y, for example. So how much the demand of good X changes when the price of good Y changes. And just like the other elasticities, we can work this out mathematically using a formula. So in this case, cross elasticity of demand or XED equals percentage change in quantity demanded of good X, how much the demand changes of good X, divided by the percentage change in price of good Y, how much the price changes of good Y. So again, we're comparing the two. And just as with income elasticity of demand, we are looking at the symbol in front of our cross elasticity of demand number that we work out, not the number, more the symbol. So if we have a positive cross elasticity of demand number, this means that the two goods we're examining are substitute goods. And I'm going to come to that in just a second, what a substitute good is. If we have a negative cross elasticity of demand, then our two goods are complementary goods. And I'm going to come to that just now. So substitute goods, a positive cross elasticity of demand number, remember. These are two goods which have the same function, so are interchangeable. So these are two goods, they do exactly the same thing, so you can switch between the two goods. You can have one of them or you can have the other one, but they both do the same job. So an example would be iPhones and Samsung Galaxy phones. So they both do the same job. They both have access to the internet. They both make calls. They can both text. They can both download apps. They do exactly the same thing. So therefore they're interchangeable. You can have either one or the other and they both do exactly the same thing. So they are substitutes for each other. And if our cross elasticity of demand number is positive, then the two goods we're examining, in this case iPhones and Samsung Galaxies, they have, they are substitute goods. They have a positive cross elasticity of demand. So if the price of iPhones were to go up, then the demand for Samsung Galaxies would go up. Because if the price of iPhones goes up, then it's less attractive for people to go and buy iPhones because they're more expensive. So people will go and buy Samsung Galaxies because they're cheaper. So therefore, if the price of iPhones goes up, then the demand for Samsung Galaxies go up. Now, if we have a negative cross elasticity of demand, then our two goods that we are examining are complementary goods. And these are two goods which are used in conjunction with each other. So they kind of go together. When you buy one, you sort of need the other one. So an example would be iPhones and iPhone cases. So when you buy an iPhone, you need to buy a case for your iPhone. So the case goes with the phone. So therefore they are complementary goods. So if the price of iPhones were to go up, it becomes less attractive to buy iPhones. It becomes more unattractive to buy iPhones. So therefore people will stop buying iPhones. And if they stop buying iPhones, that means they don't need to buy iPhone, iPhone cases anymore. So the demand for iPhone cases will go down. So if the price of iPhones goes up, people stop buying them. So therefore people stop buying iPhone cases too. So therefore, the demand for iPhone cases goes down. And this is all from a negative cross elasticity of demand number.